Aramisium. Street name, the Slipper Animacule. They call it this because it looks like a sole of a shoe or a slipper. Out of the 10 species of Paramecium, one of the most common is the one you're seeing now. Even without a microscope, you can just about see these Paramecium with the naked eye if you look real closely, as they're about 50 to 300 micrometers long. Paramecium are single-celled eukaryote microorganisms in the ciliate family, and they are covered with cilia, which are little hair-like structures around their body that help them jet around at ridiculously high speeds. They can move so fast that they can actually swim 12 lengths of their body in just one second. They will zoom around using half their energy to propel them in the hunt for bacteria, yeast, algae, and other small microscopic organisms. Some of the species will get their nutrients from the algae that live inside them. Yay! Friends! They don't have great sensory perception, as they have no eyes. That sucks. And they will hit absolutely everything in their path until they either find something to eat, or find someone to shag. Yep, I said it. If these fat paramecium don't manage to find someone for sexual relations, no worries. They will just clone themselves and divide in a process known as binary fission. Their macronucleus inside them splits and creates macronuclei, which then undergoes a process called mitosis, and the whole animal will divide into two living creatures, perfectly identical to each other. It can perform this asexual reproduction up to 300 times before its health seriously starts to decline from giving away so much of its genetic DNA during each split. Eventually, its DNA is so damaged, just beyond repair, that it inevitably croaks. Which, if I'm not mistaken, that does mean these little chunky monkeys are scooting around Shagging their own clones all day. Mmm. Clone sex. <laughs> Moving on. From the moment it was brought into its sexual existence, the whole creature inflates itself with water to keep itself from bursting. They live in freshwater environments, and if you haven't guessed it, no water, no livy livy. Paramecium uses its contractile vacuoles, which are located on the top and on the bottom of this little micro creature, and they suck in water from one little valve to inflate and expel the water from the other valve. With these gaping holes, the paramecium can control the amount of water that goes inside it. One of the coolest things I've found out about these awesome darting paramecium is that they are equipped with weapons. Defensive weapons. Look closely and you may see them. They're spear-like weapons called trachocysts and they shoot non-toxic filaments from them at their enemies at will. I love looking through the scope looking for life and seeing a creature and thinking, oh, that's cool. And then out of nowhere, a giant paramecium flies past it, taking up my whole view. And I begin a game of cat and mouse with it across my slide, just trying to catch another glimpse of it. But they are ridiculously fast. Annoyingly. Anyway, that's enough about these slipper-shaped flying clone shagging sex pests. Come check out some more interesting microorganisms with me in my other videos. Please subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I've discovered some more life ready to show you on my exploration into the microverse. See you in the next one. Goodbye.